today let's talk about how we can apply email validation in power apps let's say for an example here i have one email field and let's say for an example here i'm typing the email address like this which is not a valid email address because it doesn't follow the proper regular expression so how we can apply this kind of regular expression validation inside the canvas application let's have a quick look around that so first of all below this email text box i am just entering one label with the red color with the message please enter a valid email address now this is something which we need to show and hide based on the email validation for the regular expression validation we simply need to write on change event of this email so as soon as they change the email the event will fire and tell us against the regular expression that email is valid or invalid so for that we will simply create one variable over here and we will use one power ss expression is match so first of all let's write if expression inside that let's use an expression is match the first parameter is which parameter you want to check against i want to check against my email address let's copy the id of my email address text box so txt email dot text so this is my first parameter second parameter i need to provide the regular expression for which i want to check the email and for that in double quote you need to provide the format what which you need so over here i'm just passing this kind of regular expression for the email validation and after that you need to just make it true or false if is match then i want to hide this label so i just mark it as false otherwise i just want to mark that as true and this is how this code is looking like let me format this code and this is how it is looking like now let me store this output in one of the variable so i'm just using update context variable over here and i'm just providing the variable name as where is email valid and let me just finish the curly braces and finish the bracket let me format the text and this is how it will look like we are checking the text box value against this regular expression and showing and hiding the value if regular expression is perfect then i don't want to show this red label so it is false otherwise it's true and then let's consume this variable and apply on the visible condition of the label so this is the label and let's apply the visible condition over here as this one so if the email is valid then it will automatically hide that okay now it is blank so it's perfect similar way i need that if that email is not valid at the same time i want to disable my save button as well so for that what i'll do is this is my save button and let's check on select code over here so this is the overall code i have written but let's say if the email is not valid i want to disable this button so i will simply apply my condition on the display mode so let's add a condition in the display mode if opposite of this variable then i simply want to display mode dot edit else display mode dot disabled okay and let's format this code and this is how it is looking like okay now let's check the code so let's say for an example i am just typing here as thruvin and let me press tab change event is fired and you can see that this is becoming true with this visibility is true at the same time this button is disabled because the email validation is failed here now let's say i'm just using at the rate gmail still it is invalid so still it is showing me that now i'm just adding dot com then it is valid and now it is showing the save button as well as that error message is being hidden so this is how you simply apply the regular expression email validation inside the canvas app hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me looking for any paid consultation or training the website link is available on the channel cover home page and all the other social media handle links are available on the channel cover right page with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye